there are many ways to get cryptocurrency, such as by purchasing them or by mining them. But there is another way I wanted to show you that most people are unaware of. If you're a writer, blogger, or content creator, you're gonna love this. A website called Steemit actually allows you to earn cryptocurrency by blogging, posting, or interacting with valuable content. Steemit is a relatively new, blockchain-based social media platform. Since Steemit is built on the Steam blockchain, it will be very hard to shut down or disrupt. The main cryptocurrency used on Steemit is called Steam. This is a newer form of cryptocurrency that has actually been performing rather well. Just like Bitcoin or Ethereum, Steam can be converted into US dollars at any time. Some people that have been on the platform for a while are earning hundreds and even thousands of dollars per post. So if you enjoy writing, blogging, or creating content, and you want to get paid for your efforts, I definitely recommend checking out the Steemit platform. There are multiple ways to earn cryptocurrency on Steemit. The first way is content curation. You can think of each blog post you make as mining cryptocurrency. The more value you bring to the platform with your posts, the more cryptocurrency you will earn. As you build your following and reputation on Steemit, each post you make will attract more visitors, comments, and upvotes. If people with a high reputation score upvote or comment on your post, you will typically earn more cryptocurrency than upvotes from newer, less reputable members. If you upvote or comment on content that turns out to be very popular, you will earn more cryptocurrency than if you interact with less valued content. If you make posts that people do not enjoy and receive downvotes, your influence on the platform will be affected, your reputation score will go down, and you will earn less money. If you plan to stay on the platform and build your following, you can also purchase Steam or Steam Power to increase your reputation and upvoting power. This will also help you earn more Steam from your content and your interactions. Although you have the option to purchase Steam cryptocurrency, this is not required and you can get started for free. So now let's head over to Steamit.com and check out how to get started on the platform. This is still a new blockchain based platform and I expect more features to be added in the coming months and years as the platform grows. So to get started, let's head over to Steemit. The web address is steemit.com. So here's the Steemit homepage. From the top menu, you can select to see the trending, new, hot, or promoted posts. In the column on the left hand side, you can see the most popular tags currently being used on Steemit. All the posts that you see on the front page are the current trending posts. On each post, you can actually see how much money the post made, how many upvotes they got, and how many comments have been made. The first post about D-Mania was actually made 23 hours ago, has earned $231.36, has 451 upvotes, and 107 comments. From the column on the right hand side, new users can also get more information about the Steemit platform. They have a quick start guide, information about the blockchain, the most frequently asked questions, and where to sign up. So let's check out the quick start guide and get some more information about the platform. This is a great guide to help you get started on Steemit and so you can learn how to be successful on the platform. So let's do a quick overview of the guide and see what all it covers. If you're looking for a particular section, you can simply click it in this table of contents here. So let's take a look at the first section. There's no cost to participate on the Steemit platform. You can post, comment, or upvote all for free. In fact, you'll probably get paid for it. To upvote some content that you like, simply click the upvote icon. You can also comment on any post by clicking the reply button. To create a post, simply click the post button in the top right hand corner of your screen. Your post should have a title, content, and tags. Tags are simply keywords that help people find your posts. You can have up to five tags per post. To follow anyone on Steemit, simply click their username, then click the follow button. Re-steaming is similar to retweeting where you share someone else's posts with your followers. The three forms of digital currency offered on Steemit is Steam, Steam Power, and Steam Dollars. Up to 25% of rewards for posts goes to people who actually voted on it called curators. You receive your payout seven days after the post or comment is created. Typically authors get 75% of the payout and curators get up to 25%. All blog posts are sorted by home, new, hot, trending, promoted, and active. From your user profile, 
You can view and edit your feed, blog, comments, replies, your wallet. You can change your password, update your settings, or log out. Your reputation score is very important and shows how much value you've brought to the Steemit community. You can always exchange your Steemit cryptocurrency for other cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin on an exchange such as Blocktrace or Bittrex. Plagiarism is highly frowned upon on the Steemit community. They want new and good content. Make sure you back up your passwords. There is no password recovery for Steam accounts. And if you put in some good time and effort on Steemit, you can build up your following and actually earn some decent money. So now let's go back and check out some more information about the Steemit blockchain. Since June of 2016, Steemit has paid out around $23 million worth of rewards. This is a blockchain-based platform that allows publishers to monetize their content. The Steam blockchain uses SMT or smart media tokens that are launched by anyone to help monetize online content and create incentives for people to use certain behaviors. The tokens reward algorithm they use is called Proof of Brain, which encourages people to create and curate content. The Steam blockchain is faster than Bitcoin and Ethereum and has no fees. Steemit has already paid out $22.7 million worth of rewards, has 334,000 user accounts, has about 234,000 monthly posts, and 600,000 monthly comments. So now let's go back and go ahead and sign up for your Steemit account. Go up to the top menu, look on the right hand side, and go ahead and click the sign up link. Go ahead and select an account name and follow the steps to create your Steemit account. It should only take about 10 or 15 minutes. All right, we already did a basic overview of the Steemit platform and you should have already signed up for your Steemit account. So now let's log in and check out my blog to get a first hand look. After you sign up, in the column on the right hand side, you should now see links to your blog and to your wallet. In this video, we're gonna check out my blog. Let's click on that now. So here's my personal blog on Steemit. To get to my blog, you can go to steemit.com slash the at symbol, then my name, Jason Gandy. I currently have 163 followers with 25 posts and I'm following 37 people. Under this, you can see a link to my website and the date I joined the Steemit platform. I haven't made that many posts and my reputation score so far is 35. I believe you start out at 25 when you first sign up to the platform. I don't post very often, but when I do, I typically post an article related to business or my upcoming cryptocurrency predictions. So far, my payouts per post range from anywhere from one cent to about $3. That's not too much, but it's still a lot more than I'll get on Facebook or WordPress. You can also edit any of your previous posts anytime you wish. When creating a post, Make sure you have a good catchy title, you have some good content, and you include relevant tags. The first photo that you use in your content will be the photo that shows up on your blog. Adding a photo on Steemit is a little bit tricky. You can't just upload a photo from your desktop, you have to use a photo link. In order to do this, I typically use a website called imgbb.com. This is an extremely easy site to use in order to create links for your photos. Simply click the blue start uploading button, then you can select the image you want to upload. I think I'll just use this one as an example. So once you select your image, go ahead and click upload. And voila, quick and easy. Now I'm just gonna click on the image to view it. Then I'm gonna right click the image, then select copy image address. So now let's head back over to Steemit and add our new image address to our post. First, you want to select the spot where you want the image to appear on the post. I think I'm going to put mine here. So go ahead and click the image icon in the top menu and paste in the image address we just copied. And there we have it. That's how you add images to your Steemit posts. Since this image has absolutely nothing to do with this post, I'm going to remove it. So now let's go back to my blog and check out one of my most recent posts I just made. Here's a post where I had a Litecoin update and an Ethereum prediction. Let's check this one out. At the top of each post, you can see the title, the author, the reputation score, and the category they made the post in. Looks like I made this one about three months ago. I usually only post price predictions when I'm pretty sure of what's gonna happen. At the bottom of each post, you can see the tags included in the post, 
how much the post is earned, how many upvotes it's received, how many comments it has, and how many views it's had. People also have the option to share your posts on social media. Whenever you wanted to create a new post, simply click the post button in the top right. If you wanted to promote any of your posts on Steemit, you have the option to do that as well. In the last video, we did a basic overview of my Steemit blog. Now let's check out my Steemit wallet. You can actually view any Steemit member's wallet and their cryptocurrency holdings at any time. So if you're curious or just wanted to be nosy, you can always go look at other people's wallets and see what they're earning. In the column on the right hand side, let's go ahead and click the My Wallets link. From my wallet, you can see my profile information up top, and you can see all my current holdings on Steemit in my wallet. You can see the amount of Steam, the amount of Steam Power, Steam Dollars, you can see my savings, and my estimated account value. For Steam, which are the tradable tokens on Steemit, I currently have 22.242 Steam. These can be powered up to add to my Steam Power holdings. Steam Power are influencer tokens that can give you more influence on the Steemit platform. Looks like I currently have 62.123 Steam Power. Steam Dollars are tokens pegged to the US dollar, which are always worth around $1. Currently, my Steam Dollars holdings are around $113.89. If I want it, I could also add some money to my savings. Steam Dollars currently collect around 0.01 APR, and there's a waiting period of 3 days to withdraw money from your savings. So all in all, I currently have a total account value of around $190.74. I can always add or withdraw funds at any time I want. It's very easy to move your money and cryptocurrency around in your Steemit account. If you click the drop down menu beside Steam, you have the option to transfer, transfer to savings, power up, buy, sell, or check out the market price. Under Steam Power, you have the option to power down, which is transferring money back to Steam, or you can simply buy more. Besides Steam Dollars, you can transfer, transfer to savings, check out the market prices, convert back to Steam, buy more, or sell. Besides savings, you have the option to withdraw Steam or withdraw Steam Dollars. So let's go back up to the menu beside Steam and check out the current market prices. Go ahead and click the drop down menu, then you can scroll to the bottom and click on market. This should take you to the market overview for Steam where you can see the buy orders, the sell orders, the trade history, or even buy and sell Steam. Looks like the last price that was executed was around 92 cents. If we wanted to simply buy more Steam to add to our account, check out the button right underneath the wallet tab and click on buy Steam or Steam Power. This should take you directly to a website we discussed earlier called Block Trades. Purchasing Steam was actually my first experience using the Block Trades website. It was very quick and very easy to use. First you have to select the type of coin you want to trade. Click the drop down menu under send and you can select BitShares, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, Dash, Dogecoin, Omnicoin, or Steam. If you click the menu under Receive, you can select all the same coins and more options under Steam such as Delegated Steam Power, Steam, Steam Dollars, or Steam Power. So that's a basic overview of the Steemit wallet. I'll see you in the next section. I want to personally thank you for joining me to start your cryptocurrency journey. You can also join the Quantum Courses community online at jasongandy.org, that's jasongandy.org because .com was taken. For free training videos and updates, you can subscribe to Quantum Courses on YouTube at youtube.com slash quantum courses. So thanks for joining me in the course, and I'll see you next time. Yeah.